Okay, uh, this is a, a real quick video. I'm just going to shoot it real quick with this uh, the, pho the camera on my phone here. This is the X220 tablet, uh, Lenovo ThinkPad. And so you can see here that, um, I'm going to turn off the flash. Uh, there's been a lot of reviews already about the X220, and uh, overall, you know, it's a great machine in a lot of ways. Um, there's a lot of power, it's a very small package, very expandable, and a great keyboard. And I'm super happy with all those features, but one huge, huge disappointment. And uh, so we're looking at um, the so-called premium IPS screen option, which you can order on the X220. And this is actually a, a capacitive and pen touch, so you can see I've got um, capacitive capability. There is also a Wacom pen. Um, there's a built-in Wacom tablet that comes with this product. And that's super nice. You know, it's a, it's a neat feature. Um, the IPS screen, though, is uh, pretty disappointing in terms of its performance. So this is supposed to be a premium IPS screen, um, or at least that's how it's advertised on the website. And I'm going to switch away from, I'm, I've been browsing here in Chrome for about 10 minutes, I'm going to switch away from that to another um, workspace. And you can see here, when I switch over to this workspace, very prominent along the top is this kind of, this band, which right along right along where the chrome of the browser is and um, you can see it's a little modeled so you can see there's actually some like <laughs> there's some elements here which are probably the uh, I guess the bookmarks or and you can even you can even see where the tabs have kind of burned in as I'm reading other stuff inside of chrome now that that kind of burn in and that ghosting that'll fade after say I don't know a minute or two minutes it starts to get a little bit less um, but for what's advertised as a premium IPS screen, it's it's a real disappointment. Actually, even on like a, you know, I had an, an X100E um, before this, and that cheap <laughs> X100E screen, which is in no had nowhere near, you know, the, the advertised viewing angles of an IPS screen or anything like that, and certainly was not advertised as a premium product, had no problem like this. Um, so this is just a huge disappointment for something which is significantly more expensive and advertised as a premium product. Now the other big problem with this, so I'm going to switch over to a virtual terminal here in Linux, and you can see that yes, I've actually got the brightness cranked way down right now, so I'm going to increase that, and you can see that the big <laughs> there, geez, this, uh, along the bottom is really the worst. Um, in fact, you can't even see this, but along along the right-hand side here, there's there are LEDs that you can see, but I mean, I, I don't even have to point it out. These are the, the edge lighting LEDs um, for this screen, and they're quite prominent. I mean, I almost feel like they're sticking out <laughs> of the, the bezel, so or the, co the material that covers that bezel. Um, it's just really shoddy workmanship. So, you know, I don't know if this is Lenovo's supplier just giving them bad product, or if it's Lenovo that decided to kind of cut corners, which would be a huge disappointment. But this is not a premium product, the screen. The rest of the computer, great. I love the X220 laptop. Uh, the tablet features are really neat. But the screen's a huge disappointment. So there you are. Um, this is kind of mid-2011. So this is August 2nd. And hopefully this pr this uh gets solved. We'll see.